For those of you who spend spending time with me exploring Sketchable, welcome back. And for those of you who are just joining us, hey, come on in. We're gonna check out the texture swatches in Sketchable app today. Let's go. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator, and today we're gonna explore the texture swatches in Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening our Sketchable app. I have my Surface Pro and I have my drawing. I've been working on this drawing little bit a little, and uh, it's time for some color and adding texture. So let's go ahead and make sure I have a clear Oh yeah, there we go, boom, clear line work. I have a layer ready to go. And one thing to know about Sketchable is that you have the option of adding your texture to the paper or to the brush. And so when we make our Sketchable or journal, we have the option of, ask, of uh, adding the default paper. And so when I created this journal, uh, I just clicked on the icon with the letter I for information, journal info, or when I make a new one, you get this pop-up and this menu shows you all the different textures that you can have in the journal itself. Now, when you add a texture into the journal, that texture will show through all the pages inside the journal. However, the cool thing is that you also have the option of adding textures when using a particular brush. So here's our pencil brush. You can see some of the texture happening right here. As I turn down my flow, you get to see the different uh, texture that shows up right here. So this flow has a different texture. And then there's a whole nother texture here, as you can see. So the, the, so the actual brush or the pencil brush in this case has different textures depending on which pencil you choose. So let's go ahead and grab the last one because I think this is, uh, so this is the number two pencil and I think, I wanna double check, uh, that is the official number two pencil. Yeah, so, so I did two softs, soft two, soft two, so I changed that. Then there's soft two again and that has a different <laughs> texture itself. And then I got the number two pencil. So I'm gonna um, duplicate this number two pencil. Bam, there it is. I just hit that plus icon. And there it is, number two pencil. So now let's go ahead and make some changes and adjustments. First, I can change the name, number two pencil. Um, let's see, actually not that. Let's go here. Boom, D, e T, M. That's me, that's my name, right? Boom, there. I just changed the name. The blend mode, I'm gonna keep it normal, but I can try different things if I want. Uh, and then, of course, stroke background, as I draw and what stays behind or what I get to see. But the part that we're here to explore is down here. Come on, there it is, paper textures, come on in. So right now it is on the default texture that I use, well, the, on the one that's used on this pencil, and I can change it to any other texture. And as you can see, it changes here. So let's do that again, come on. Boom, as you can see, it's changing down here on the left-hand side. Boom, so as, as I change the paper texture, it changes the way the pencil's gonna react when I draw. So then I can look for the kind of pencil that I really want. And I like it rough like that, I like it really rough. So now let's go ahead and go in here. And there it is, look at that. So of course, oops, I was already here. And I can turn that down some, and then I can get, there it is, look at that. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's erase all of this. Bam, goodbye. Now, not all the tools have the texture option because, uh, there you go, let's try that. Mm hmm yes, yes. I want a lot of gritty texture. So the lighter that I draw, the more texture I get to see. The harder I press, the less texture because then it's filling in all the little grooves. So this, let's go which one is rougher. I know that's pretty rough. 
called what? Reptile. So it's got like a scale. Scaly look. Oh, nice. And then if I do sideways, look at that. Wow. That is cool. So it helps to have some of these textures and then you can add certain uh, texture to your drawing, but just by the way you use the pencil. And like I was saying, not all the tools have this texture option. So here's the airbrush and the airbrush does not have the texture. Uh, let's see the paintbrush, no texture. Nope. And then we have the marker, which may have some texture. Nope. Not either. And then uh, the pen, I'm sure the pen does because it should react with the uh, paper. Nah, okay, okay. Very well, this is surprising. There you go. But we do have it on this pen. So there we go, that's good. We get some texture on this pen. And there we go, so it shows up right there. Let me try a different pen, there it is. And let's go here. Boom, let's go with that. And let's change our area. Oh, look at that, that's great. Uh-huh, dang. Now, when you're using these textures, you also have um, edit uh, settings that you can change. So there's the paper settings, it has the texture, and then you can invert. So you'll get the opposite of what you're supposed to see. Have, oh, let's try it on one that we can clearly see. Yeah, there we go, let's go with that. Mm -hmm. there we go. Come on. Let's make it bigger. There it is, you see that? Now let's invert it and see, there you can tell the difference already. And there, and so it's supposed to, there it goes. So now instead of filling in the circle, the, the shapes, it actually fills in the between the shapes. Nice. Um, you have, of course, higher contrast and brightness. I can turn this thing down, let's see. Hmm, interesting. Contrast, I want the contrast. There it is, look at that, changing right here on the left-hand side. Uh, the scale, by which is you're gonna see. The angle, changes the angle when you're drawing. The jitter, oh man, so it's like a lot of stuff I've been missing out. Look at that! <gasps> so if I go like this, and then look at my pencil, or this is my pen actually. And which pen is this anyways? Dynamic nib. Um, uh, and on and on, jitter smoothing and so on, right? Boom, so let me go back to my pencil because that's where I was playing with. Uh, let's invert, let's go with this. Let me try that. Let's go there. I'm gonna make it really gritty. I wanna make it gritty. So contrast, brightness, scale, there it goes. There it goes, the scale. Uh -huh. Angle some, a little bit of jitter, and I don't see a lot of changes there, so. Find me another one. Let me go with that. How about that? Still not a lot. Not a lot. Contrast is high. Brightness. How about low? Oh, I need a higher brightness. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. So uh, let's see scale. All right. Uh huh. And go jitter, jitter. There we go. There it is. Oh yeah, look at that. I finally got to a point where it starts to look a little rough. So turn that down. And so when I'm drawing, I get that that uh, look of pencil on paper. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Please check out the different textures. See how they work in your drawing. I like to use the textures when I'm coloring in so that I can add extra extra texture into the values of my drawings but let me know what you think about it all right this is digital drawing and sketchable with dtm and i hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity please like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time